Do you struggle with procrastination? Wait, are you procrastinating right now? So how do you deal with procrastination? There's already a lot of information out there on what to do to stop procrastination. Those hacks obviously haven't worked for you because you're still here. Perhaps you need to do a lot of self-reflection. Ask yourself these three questions when dealing with procrastination. First, why don't you want to do your work? What are you avoiding? Obviously, you don't find working enjoyable, but try to go deeper. For example, when I procrastinate, it's usually because I don't find what I need to do aligned with my dreams and bigger goals in life. So I'm avoiding things I find not aligned with my goals or I find menial. So I ask myself, so what? Do I still need to do it? That's when I find out that the little things I do and the habits I develop can help me reach my goals one way or another. Let's make it concrete. I don't like tracking our finances. I find it very menial and seeing how much we're spending makes me fear that I might be wasting money in chasing my goals. But in tracking our finances, I become more responsible and can allocate our resources better. Next, what's one little thing you can do? Sometimes, we procrastinate because the task seems insurmountable. Just thinking about the job is tiring. Wait, are you experiencing it right now? But what's one little thing you can do that is easy? In my finances example, I can easily log into our bank accounts and download our transaction report. I can place this in our sheets where I already set formulas. I can start with that and I'll see how much energy I have to do the next step. Usually, I would be in the zone to proceed. But if I'm not, I take a break so I wouldn't get burned out. But the thought of having started already mentally keeps me going. Lastly, what are you feeling? It's normal to be feeling sad, tired, angry because of other aspects of our life that gets us distracted and hampers our ability. When you feel this way, rest or do a physical activity that can give you endorphins or meditate, perhaps pray to keep you grounded. Do whatever you need to provide you with a more positive outlook. There are more questions to ask and a life coaching to help you process this. But whatever your reasons for procrastination, you need to forgive yourself. Self-pity or self-anger doesn't do you any good. Smile. You got this.